This is Chiquizi, and Chiquizi is a very active Chihuahua. And the question that we want to be able to answer is where is Chiquizi? And so we're really asking, what is Chiquizi's position? And position is determined by a location on an axis. And this is if we're talking about one dimension. So for one dimensional motion, we can make an axis and we can put a zero somewhere on the axis. And that's what we call the origin. And then to the right of that zero, we can label one, two, three, four, and so on all the way down. And then to the left, we can label some negative numbers, and we'll label this axis x, and we'll give it some units of meters. And so if Chiquizi is right here, well then where is Chiquizi? We would say that Chiquizi is located at x equals 8 meters. Okay, so we answered where is Chiquizi. Another question that we might want to ask for this very active chihuahua is how far did Chiquizi travel? So here's our axis again. And let's suppose that Chiquizi started here at zero and he finished over here at eight. Well, in this case, how far did Chiquizi travel? We would say that Chiquizi traveled a distance of eight meters. And that's because we would count starting from the zero right here, we would count all the way up to the finish right here. And when you count, you see we have eight meters. Okay, so how about another example? What if Chiquizi started over here at nine and finished all the way over here at negative two? Now how far did Chiquizi travel? Well, we would do the same thing. We would count starting at the nine right here and we would count all the way over to the negative two and we would see uh, how many meters that would be. And in this case, if you count, you see that Chiquizi traveled a distance of 11 meters.